Hello, I'm Carolyn Burton, candidate for the mayor of the city of Fall River. I would like to tell you about myself and my vision for the future of our city. For those of you who do not know me, I am a native of Fall River, educated in our public schools, along with my sisters, brother, and my children. I have enjoyed my lifetime working here, which began at age 15 as part-time employee at Duro Manufacturing, moving on to work in the needle trades, assembly line, as clerk steno and school committee for our school system, and for the past 30 years, thanks to you, owning and operating a successful insurance and real estate business. I am a property owner here for 34 years. I am second generation American. Like many of you, my father fought in World War II and my brother in Vietnam. I am a mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother. But mostly, I am a daughter of this city. Why am I running for office? Well, for over 20 years, I have watched with dismay the decline of our city, seeing the proud people of Fall River losing their jobs with the closing of our factories and having no alternative industry. Right now, our city's unemployment rate is among the highest in the state, as well as our crime rate. Recently, I have witnessed our education system falling to the point we fear being taken over by the state. I ask you, is this the legacy we want to leave our children and grandchildren? Luckily, my parents taught me to question everything. Well, folks, here are my questions. Why are we continually electing people who promise and never deliver? Why is our sister city, New Bedford, moving ahead of us? For example, their short sea shipping. They even have a ferry service to the islands. We have wonderful waterways here, as well as great highway access. Yeah, we are behind. Let us compare their town town area to ours. They have shops, restaurants, entertainment, a theater, a free monthly event where everyone is walking around enjoying themselves, a two-day summer festival, and a waterfront festival. What happened to our downtown? What happened to our festival? What happened to our theaters? Let's look at Providence, Rhode Island. I remember a time when people were afraid to enter that city. Now, when you ask someone where they're going, Providence is often the answer. They have great restaurants, entertainment, even water fires. Why can't we get something going? And when we do get something going, how can we keep it going? Lately, I have been criticized for not presenting a platform or position papers. I have been accused of, and I quote, having the arrogance of attempting to run this city by the seat of my pants without a plan. Well, folks, question this. Where have all the platforms, position papers, and promises gotten us? I am here today to share with you a couple of great ideas for Fall River, which includes plans for today and a vision for our future of our city. Where did I get these ideas? From you. How? By asking questions and paying attention to your answers. Idea number one. I learned about insurance companies who pay for medical treatment for people who live outside of the intercontinental United States, including extra expenses such as meals, transportation, housing, and pharmaceuticals. Presently, these patients and families are sent to Boston. How easy it would be for us to develop a plan showing these companies how they can save money by utilizing Fall River's great medical facilities, as well as saving on additional expenses while being treated here. How wonderful it would be that that very same revenue comes to our city. This surely is a win-win situation, a way of putting Fall River on the map. Idea number two, what do you think of Fall River being reborn as the green city? Fall River, a model for the state or perhaps the country. By utilizing solar energy, beginning with the government center, we would save on utility bills and receive income for extra energy output. Right now, there are grants available in Massachusetts for that purpose. I am an ordinary citizen who is not going to give up on Fall River. I do believe the citizens of Fall River deserve a promise from their candidate. So I promise to be your voice. I promise to run this city like the business it is. I promise to do everything in my power to unite the people of Fall River and give each and every one a voice in the operation of our city. If you agree with me, please cast your ballot for me, for mayor, on September 13th and help me help you take our city back.